So this is a screencast to show a solution to the IB Math Studies IB style question. It's this question here about the radius and volume and surface area of spheres. So here we go straight away. A sphere has a radius of 5 centimetres. Calculate A its volume and B its surface area. So before we do anything else we need to make sure that we find the relevant section of our, our formula booklets which shows us the formulae for both of those uh, properties. The sphere, the volume, 4 thirds pi r cubed and the surface area 4 pi r squared. So for section A, the first thing we need to do is to I'll just change the thickness of that. A, it is volume is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So all we need to do is substitute r equals 5 into that formula. And at that point, we need to make sure we're aware of our priority of operations. So it's going to be 4 thirds times by pi times by 5 cubed. Now over here we've got our calculator. We can put all of that into our calculator in one go. So I'm going to put 4 divided by 3 times pi, which is the second button there, depending on which calculator you're using, times 5 to the power of 3. And then we've got our answer there, 523.5987756. So it's always good advice to write the whole uh, answer to that question down. I'll just get that back on the screen. So it's 523.5987756. Hundred and twenty three point five nine eight seven seven five six five nine eight seven seven five six and then underneath to round your answer to three significant figures. Okay, which is going to round to five hundred and twenty four centimeters cubed, taking care to be consistent with the units of the question. Okay, for part B, we need the formula that the surface area is given by 4 pi r squared, and it's exactly the same process. We're going to substitute r equals 5 into that formula. So we've got the surface area equal to 4, ty 4 pi uh, times 5 squared. So that's equal to, I get my calculator back on the screen, I'm going to do 4 times pi times 5 to the power of 2, enter, and I've got 314.1592654. Hmm. 314.1592654 and then I'm going to round that to three significant figures which is 314 centimeters squared because this is a surface area. Okay so part C of the question is a, a little trickier because this time we have to work backwards. We know that the volume of the sphere is 100 centimetres cubed and we need to work out what radius would have made that possible. So always a good idea to write down what we know. and We know that 100 equals 4 thirds times pi r cubed. Lots of ways to approach this one. I'm going to give you one and treat this like solving an equation now. We've just got one unknown. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3. So I end up with 300 equals 4 
pi r cubed. Then I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 4, which is going to give me 75 equals pi r cubed. Then I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by pi. So I end up with 75 over pi is equal to r cubed. And then I just need to find the cube root. So I'm cube rooting both sides of the equation. And then I can say that the cube root of 75 over pi is equal to r, which I then need to put into my calculator. So, so depending on what kind of calculator you have, uh, I need to find the cube root function on this TI calculator. It's under math. I go down to the fourth option there, I've got cube root, so I enter cube root, and I'll put in brackets because I want the 75 divided by pi to happen like that. 75 divided by pi, close brackets, and I'm taking this the cube root at this stage, and then I hit enter, that's done the job for me. And I've got a very funny looking answer there, and this is a great example uh, of a situation that may come up. And I look at that and I say, well, how can, they, how can the radius of that thing be just above one? And so somewhere in the setup, we must have some kind of mistake. And I suspect that the, air, the area where there's a problem um, is, is the fact that uh, the calculator is set into radians, not degrees. And as a math study student, you never need to have radians, but you need to be aware that your calculator can choose which unit it's going to measure uh, angles in. So if I go to mode, and I, the third list down there is, is a choice between radians and degrees. If I go across to degrees and then enter, okay, now I'm going to repeat the calculation. Math cube root, oh I've gone one too far, cube root of open bracket 75 divided by, let's get pi up there and then close bracket and then hit enter, I'm going to get an answer that makes quite a lot more sense. Okay, so the answer is 2.87941911. Okay, so as before, we'll take care to write the full calculator display down first and it's 2.879411911 which I'm then going to round to three significant figures. I've got 2.87 but the one after is a 9 so I go to 2.88 and the answer of course is centimetres. Okay so I've got my full calculator display and then as well as that I've got the answer rounded to three significant figures. Okay, and that's the question.